Welcome to the first ever video blog edition of the Drew Radio Show back in full force. Talking today about sports, specifically the NBA today, but we, we like to co cover all sports. Right now, a big thing going on in the world of sports is the World Cup. And you know, ever since the United States lost to Belgium, my interest in the World Cup completely gone. Uh, I'm not a soccer guy. I don't pretend to be a soccer guy. I don't even know that much about it. Don't understand all the rules and nuances of the game. But, you know, I just have never got into games where you can sit and watch a game for two hours and the score be one to nothing. Oh, it just seems like... Oh, I, 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 need, I need more than that. Apologi apologies to all the soccer enthusiasts out there. I mean, they're very well-conditioned athletes, but it's just not my cup of tea. Maybe if they had some sort of app that would let you know like a minute before someone's about to score so you could tune in and watch it, then I could really get into it as long as I had that app. I guess people haven't gotten able to predict the future like that yet, so that may be a while before I get that. And then, another thing about soccer, the time. You know, every other sport, you see the clock. When the clock goes off, game's over. That's it. In soccer, you know, that doesn't really matter. And it's just the referee decides, oh, 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 time, time, we're done, we're done. And just whenever he decides we're done playing, uh, it seems like there should be more accountability there than me. But anyways, I digress. It is July 5th, and it is... Time to discuss NBA free agency, which is in full force. And today our topic is Carmella Anthony, one of the top two names out there in free agency to get. And he is being wined and dined by several different teams. Those teams include his current team, the New York Knicks, the Los Angeles Lakers, the Dallas Mavericks, the Houston Rockets, and Chicago Bulls. He's met with all those teams. But no team can offer him as much as the New York Knicks as far as money. And that's what makes the world go around, it seems, in the world of sports these days. And he likes New York. He loves the atmosphere. He loves being a part of the city. But if he wants to win, his best chance is definitely not in New York. So let's look at some of his other teams. If he wants to win, his best chances are going to be either at Houston or Dallas, maybe Chicago, depending on the health of Derrick Rose, which that is no sure thing. You can't really count on that right now. Two years in a row, Derrick Rose has just had very unfortunate luck with injuries. Who knows if he can get back to that MVP caliber level. It's tough. You, you look at players like... Anthony Hardaway, Grant Hill, supposed to be budding huge superstars and were, but injuries really took their toll and probably prevented them from making the Hall of Fame where early on in their career it looked like they would be a shoe in So, the Houston Rockets, if he goes there, they get James Harden, Dwight Howard, and Carmella Anthony. That would be a force to be reckoned with. Interesting to see how Carmelo and James Harden would play together, both kind of ball stoppers and like to dominate the ball. Can they coexist? Maybe. I mean, the teams, USA Olympic teams seem to coexist okay. All-star teams seem to coexist all right. And Dallas Mavericks may have actually given up on their Carmelo Anthony chances because they went ahead and signed Dirk Nowitzki to his new deal. He was planning on waiting to see how things played out before he signed with the Carmelo thing. But Carmelo, if he would signs with the Mavericks, the off chance that he does, they are instantly a title contending team. You got they make they'll make up the best backcourt in the NBA, Dirk Nowitzki, Carmelo Anthony, and newly reacquired Tyson Chandler. Wow, that would be a force to be reckoned with in the front court. Monte Ellis running the show in the back court. All they would need is to solidify, solidify that point guard position, and that would be one heck of a starting lineup. 
Where's he going to go? Chicago Bulls? I don't know. The Lakers? Kobe Bryant? Oh, trying to push him to go there, but really, I, I don't see that as a viable option for him. I'm predicting he either goes to Houston or stays in New York. Who knows? It's an exciting time for basketball free agency. We're going to keep you up, you up to date right here on the Drew and your show with everything going on in free agency and all that good stuff. Thanks for tuning in, and we will be back at you soon with more of the Drew Radio Show.